And as you exhale, a big heavy sigh through the mouth, sort of a cleansing breath. And then we're gonna do that again. So nice deep breath in through the nose, just kind of allowing the rib cage to fully expand. And then as you exhale, a big heavy sigh through the mouth. So this is your time, my friends, to just kind of surrender to your mat. So it's, it's important that we take this time uh, during our day just to kind of check in. So this is your check-in time. So kind of notice how you're feeling. Notice any areas of tension or restriction that you feel in your body. And it's good to just bring the breath to those areas. Good morning. So we're in puppy or child's pose to start the practice. If you're just joining us, cleansing breath a couple of times. And then just begin to scan your body. So noticing what comes up for you today in the mind. Just kind of noticing your thoughts that you're having, not necessarily getting rid of them right now, but just kind of paying attention to what's happening. And then I want you to be mindful of how you're feeling. So any types of emotions that you have right now. So maybe you feel peaceful. Maybe you're worried about something. Maybe you feel nervous or anxious. Maybe you're mad or frustrated about something. Maybe you're content or happy. So just think of, an, of how you're feeling and I invite you to name those emotions right now. Just anything that you're noticing. And then if you haven't already, just notice how your body feels. From the top of your head all the way down to your feet. Noticing areas of discomfort, of tension. Maybe areas that feel particularly mobile or good today. And just being mindful of all of those places as you practice today. And then I invite you to notice your breath. So just beginning to inhale and exhale into the lowest part of your belly. And as you inhale, allowing the belly to expand outward. As you exhale, drawing the navel into the spine. So just continuing in that way. So inhaling maybe three or four counts and exhaling for the same length. So you can either be right now, you can either be child's or puppy pose or a comfortable seated position, whatever feels good for your body. Eyes can be either with gaze lowered or closing your eyes, whatever feels good for you. And we'll just take a one-to-one -one ratio of breathing. So inhaling three to four counts into the belly and exhaling for three to four counts. And we'll do about four or five more breath cycles in that way. So inhaling four to five counts and exhaling four to five counts. Letting go of tension as you exhale. And as you inhale, just slowly drawing the navel in. Or as you inhale, allowing your belly to expand outward. And as you exhale, drawing the navel into the spine. And then as you continue to breathe this way, go ahead and set an intention for your practice today. So something you'd like to focus on and bring that intention into your heart. Breathing into it for a couple of breath cycles and just allowing yourself to be present with your intention as you move about the practice today. Remember to be kind to yourself. So really noticing what feels good for your body, what changes you need to make, and just moving into any of those. 
And we'll take another cleansing breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. And then when you feel ready, just making your way into tabletop. So hands are going to be underneath your shoulders, knees are going to be underneath your hips, and we'll just start to shift the weight from hands back towards your heels. So just starting to shift your weight forward towards your fingertips, maybe feeling a little bit of stretch in the forearms, and then shifting back towards your heels, maybe starting to feel a little bit of a stretch into the back. So this is a good time to check in, sort of noticing what feels good as you're in this position. And if you feel particularly tight as you shift forward or backwards, maybe just hanging out there for a couple of breaths, kind of feeling that length into the forearms and into the back. And you're always welcome to come back to any resting position of your choice as we're practicing today. So you can come into child or puppy pose or just sitting is fine too. And then come back to that tabletop position. We're going to start to cycle through cat and cow. So spread your fingers nice and wide. Bring the knees underneath the hips. And then the next time you breathe in, let your belly drop down and look forward. Coming into cow pose. As you exhale, press away from the mat as much as you can, rounding your spine. Coming into cat. So belly button draws in. And then we'll just cycle through those two poses. So inhale, dropping the belly, looking forward, cow pose. Big exhale, press away, round your back, cat. And this is going to be flowing with your breath. So however fast or slow you're breathing is how you're going to coordinate your movement. And if, if your breath gets away from you or if you're not sure if you should be inhaling or exhaling, just do your best to keep breathing. So inhaling to cow, exhaling to cat, just kind of letting the pace of your breath move your body. And then as you're cycling through cat and cow, if it feels good for you to kind of shift your hips from side to side, kind of getting into the side bodies a little bit more, you can do that. If you want to just stay with that straight cat and cow pose, you can do that as well. If you need to make your range of motion in your spine less, you can also do that. So just, again, listening to your body. We'll take a couple more cycles at your own pace, cueing into um, just relaxing the face as well. So oftentimes we kind of will clench our jaw, Press our lips together to see if you can relax and keep the mouth slightly open. And we'll finish the cycle that we're on, pressing into cat, and then coming back to that neutral spine in tabletop. And then let the shoulders kind of fall away from your ears. So in tabletop, you want your back to be flat. Your belly is slightly inward. We're going to do a little bit of balancing here today. So Move your hand, your, both of your hands just slightly forward, maybe about an inch forward ahead of your shoulders. And then I want you to bring your right toes back. So bring your right foot back, but keep your foot on the mat. Here comes the balancing part. We're going to rotate over, so we're balancing on our left hand and knee. Okay? So you're going to let your heel come down on that leg that's back. And you're going to rotate over so you're balancing on your left hand and your left knee. So your chest is going to face the right wall or the right side of your space. Yep. So then look to the right. So you're kind of looking to the right. I know you want to look up at me, but look to the right. And then if you can, float that right arm up towards the ceiling. And this is that modified, yep, this is that modified half moon position. Nice. So that right leg is straight. You have your whole kind of foot or the outer edge of your right foot down. That's going to help you balance. And kind of floating that right arm up towards the ceiling, keeping your hips lifted, and then take a couple of breaths in and out. Beautiful, yogis. Very nice. And if you need to put your hand down, it's fine. Good. On one more inhale. And exhale. And then release back to that tabletop position. So knees under the hips, hands just ahead of the shoulders. This time, belly draws in, send your left toes back. 
So leg is straight here. Notice the straightening in the knee. Take your time, but come over to your, your right hand and knee. And then you'll bring the outer edge of your left foot down. So that's going to give you a little bit more support. So you're opening, you're bringing your chest to face the left wall. Kind of looking over to that wall. Lining up your whole body. Good. And if it's available to you, you can float that left arm. So fingertips reach for the ceiling. Nice. A little bit of balancing here. You're close to the floor, so if you need to put your hand down, you can. Pause and breathe. Modified half moon. Very nice, friends. Very good. Continuing to breathe. Relaxing your face. As you exhale, come back to tabletop. We're going to do it one more time on each side. I'll give you another option to make it a little bit more challenging if you'd like to do that today. So from tabletop, belly in, shrug the shoulders down away from your ears. Send your right foot back. Rotate over to your left hand and knee. So you're going to bring the outer edge of your right foot down. That's going to give you some grounding in the pose. So you can stay right here. Or if you want to invite a little bit more of a challenge into your modified half moon, you're going to try lifting that right foot off the floor. It doesn't have to be super far. It can even just be an inch or two. But you're going to kind of lift it and keep flexing the foot on the right side. And if that's not available to you, just keep the foot down. Good. Two more breaths. Noticing the activation in the hips. Good. If you chose to lift the foot, set it back down. And then on your exhale, come back to tabletop. Good. Inhale, come to cow pose. So drop your belly, look forward. Exhale, tuck and round into cat. One more time, inhale, cow pose, looking forward. Exhale, tuck and round, cat. And then come back to that neutral spine, belly in, shoulders shrug away from the ears, left toes back. And then pivot that back heel down and come over to your right hand and knee. So opening your chest to the left side of your space. Floating that top arm up towards the ceiling for an additional challenge. You can try floating your, your straight leg. So floating that top leg, foot is flexed. Noticing the activation in both hips. Pausing and breathing, still pulling the belly button in towards the spine. Good. Doing your best not to hold your breath. Relax your face. Good. Pause and breathe. Do what works for you. And as you exhale, release everything. Come back to tabletop. Inhale, cow pose. Drop the belly. Exhale, tuck and round, cat pose. Inhale, back to tabletop. And then we're going to walk the hands more forward towards the top edge of the mat. If you'd like today, downward facing dog. So that's going to be tucking the toes under. Pressing your sit bones up and back and making that triangle shape with your body. Okay, so you're going to want to use the length of your mat, so walking your hands more forward. So as you come into this posture, you can feel free to kind of float up the heels and send them down. Kind of walk out your feet a little bit, so alternating, dropping a heel down. If this position is not available to you, then you can come back into that tabletop position today. So this is a little bit of an inversion, right? So your head is lower than your heart. You might notice dizziness or lightheadedness. It's not necessarily what we want you to be feeling, but it is a different posture if you're not used to coming into that posture. Nice. So just kind of taking it for what it's worth. Focusing in on sending your sitting bones up and back and then just allowing the rest of your legs to follow. So when we move into our down dog, we really want to have space between our hands and feet. And you can check your spacing by coming into plank or that push-up hold. So bring your shoulders over your hands. As you come into that plank position, you shouldn't have to move your hands or feet. So then as you breathe from plank, as you press your sit bones back, that's the spacing you want. So sometimes we have too, you know, too short of a space between hands and feet, so just using the length of your mat. Good. 
and then drop your knees down and come into puppy pose or child's pose and just connect with your breath. We're going to do that one more time. And I don't want you to feel like you have to do that posture. So if it doesn't work out for you, you can come into or just stay in puppy pose or um, hands and knees tabletop. So take a cleansing breath here, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And then when you're ready, come back to tabletop. Walk your hands about a handprint forward towards the top edge of your mat. Tuck the toes under, lift your sit bones up and back. And then you're just gonna let your legs follow. So if your heels are off the mat because your calves are tight, that's okay. If your knees are bent, that's okay too. Feet are gonna be about hips distance apart, head and neck in line with your spine, grounding through your hands and feet. The next time you inhale, I want you to float your heels up. So kind of up to the balls of the feet. And then as you exhale, melt your heels down in the direction of the mat. So lengthening the calves. Good. Two more times. Inhale, float your heels. Exhale, melt them down towards the mat. Last time. Inhale, float your heels. Exhale, melt them down. Good, one more breath in here, and then exhale, tabletop or child's pose. Take a breath. And then we're gonna transition to the top edge of our mat. So I want you to step your right foot forward, and then you can press off your back leg or however you'd like to come to the top of your mat. You're gonna step both feet up towards the top edge of your mat and just kind of come into a forward fold position. So your back is going to be rounded here. You're going to let your upper body just kind of dangle and sway. You can grab opposite elbows here if that feels good. Just let the back of your neck relax. Good. Bend your knees as much as you need to. So remember that this is your practice. There's no comparison. So don't worry about how far you're bending forward. Just do what works for you. And then if you chose to grab opposite elbows, just kind of let your fingertips dangle for the floor. Maybe circle out your wrists a little bit. And then the next time you take a breath in, lift, your, lift up halfway. So you're going to come up to a flat back, belly is in. So just noticing the difference in these two positions in your spine. So here your back is flat. As you exhale, you're going to let your back round, forward fold. Good, do that one more time. Inhale, come up halfway, flat back, tummy in. Good, exhale, round and fold. You're gonna take your time, hands can be above your knees if you'd like. We're gonna press all the way up to stand. So take your time coming all the way up. Once you're up to standing, go ahead and pedal out those feet a little bit. And then come into mountain pose towards the top edge of your mat. So remember mountain pose, your feet are gonna be about a uh, fist distance apart. If you need a little bit more space for better balance, please do that. Nice and broad across the collarbones. So palms are forward, tummy is in, slight tailbone tuck. As you inhale, sweep your arms up over your head and then take a gentle side stretch to the right. So just kind of stretching out to the right side, grabbing loosely onto your wrist if you like. Little side stretch here, and then come into the center, deep breath in, lift all the way up, and then as you exhale, little side stretch towards the left. Good. And then nice deep breath in again. Back up to center, and as you exhale, release your hands down at your side. Good, pause in mountain pose. If it's available to you, blink your eyes closed and just breathe. Notice how you feel in standing. Notice the ground beneath your feet. If you're not comfortable closing your eyes, keep them open but lower your gaze. And maybe just shift your weight from heels to toes or side to side. So you're just kind of connecting with the ground, connecting with the earth, centering yourself here. 
and then when you're ready, blink your eyes open. From mountain pose, inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, bring your hands through heart center, forward fold. Round your back. Inhale, come up to a flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, round and fold. Inhale, press into your feet, sweep your arms all the way up. Take your time, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, a half sun salutation. One more time. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward bend. Bend your knees. Relax the back of your neck. Inhale, lift up halfway. Flat back. Exhale, round and fold. Inhale, press through your feet. Come all the way up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So we're allowing the breath to kind of pace our movements here. We'll try it one more time. Inhale, reaching up. Look up. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, lift up halfway. Flat back. Exhale, round and fold. Inhale, press through your feet. Come all the way up, look up, exhale, hands to heart center. Good. From here, just release your arms down at your sides. I want you to take a big step back with your left foot. So you're going to have two or three feet between your front foot and your back foot, and your left foot is going to be turned slightly out, okay? So turn those left toes slightly out. And if you need more balance, you can separate your feet so they're a little bit wider towards the long edges of your mat, okay? From here, I want you to keep your shoulders up over your hips, bend into your front knee until it goes over your ankle, okay? So don't let it go in or out, but just have it right over your ankle. Hips and shoulders towards that front wall, reach your arms up, warrior one, back knee is straight. Good, warrior one. Pause and breathe. Belly is in. Good, relax the tops of the shoulders. Relax your face. Good, as you exhale, I want you to hinge forward, send your arms back, airplane arms. So you're just gonna bring your trunk a little bit over that front leg, send your arms back. So you have a big straight line from your head all the way down to that back heel. So as you do that, belly is in, and you should pull your shoulder blades together so you feel the back of your body activate. Good. Belly is in. Good support for your back. Beautiful. Inhale. Come back to warrior one. Relax the tops of your shoulders. Exhale. Step forward. Mountain pose. Top of your mat. Good. Take a breath in. Big exhale. Let it out. Good, another inhale, this time big step back with your right foot. Turn the right toes slightly out, bend into your front knee, reach the arms up for warrior one. Shoulders are over your hips, so back knee is straight. You should be on the second side now. Remember, you can take your feet out a little bit wider for better balance. Look down at your front knee, make sure that knee stays over your ankle for good stability through your hip and knee. Tummy is in, take a breath. As you exhale, relax the tops of the shoulders, still reaching through your fingertips. Good, another inhale. As you exhale, airplane arms. Hinge forward, send the arms back, pull the shoulder blades together. Tummy is in. Good, shoulder blades pulled together. Good, breathe. Do your best not to hold your breath. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep your arms back up, warrior one. Exhale, step forward, mountain pose. Top of your mat. Good. Pause and breathe. So 
We're gonna do a little bit of balancing next. If you would like to, um, if you think you're gonna need something to hold on to for balancing, if we're doing single leg balance, I want you to put a chair towards the top edge of your mat or a wall or a prop or whatever you have available to you. So from mountain pose, long spine. So think about lifting up through the top of your head. As you exhale, you're gonna step back with your left foot, warrior one. Bend into your front knee. So your back foot is going to be turned slightly out, just like we did. Knee is over the ankle on the front leg. So I'm going to have you hold warrior, or warrior one here and just eyes up here. So we're going to make our way into warrior three with the chair. So warrior three is going to be a little bit of single leg balance. So continue to hold where you are, okay? Warrior three in its full pose expression is going to look like bending and balancing on your front leg and lifting your back leg up, okay? Working into that pose, you're going to shift your weight towards your front leg. You're going to grab onto the back of your chair and start to straighten your front knee. Then I can put my back toe down if I need to for balance. Okay, so that's what we're going to work into. So from warrior one, take a breath. As you exhale, shift your weight onto the front leg. Hands can go to your chair back. And then start to straighten your front leg, lift your back leg up. Tummy is tight, belly is in. That foot on your back leg is going to be flexed. And you're going to turn those toes to face the floor. Good, warrior three. Then as you're here, if you feel good, if you feel like you have good balance on your right leg, you can just hover your hands. You can pull the back at your sides, you can reach them forward, but just using that chair or wall for balance as you need to. Always also can put that back foot down. Good, couple more breaths. Notice what you feel. And then we're gonna take a big step back with that lifted foot, open it up. Come up to warrior two. So reminder, warrior two, your back foot is gonna be open. Your knee is still gonna be over your, or your ankle on that front leg. So look down at your front leg. See how that front leg wants to kind of buckle in. See if you can get that knee to be over your ankle. Shoulders are over your hips and then arms are gonna come up to shoulder height. Look over your right hand. Good, belly is still in, so we still have that good core activation. Tailbone tucks under just slightly. So much to think about, right? Pause and breathe. Relax your face. Just kind of let yourself be here, see how you feel. Good, big exhale, step forward, mountain pose, top of your mat. Very nice. So just pause here, cleansing breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, big step back with your right foot. Warrior one. So you're gonna bend into that front knee, sweep the arms up by your ears, back knee is straight, hips and shoulders towards the front edge of your mat. Pause and breathe, good. As you exhale, start to make your way onto that front foot, warrior three, okay? So as you start to shift forward, you can kind of drag your back toe on the mat, and this might be your warrior three variation. So you're just very gently starting to take weight on that left leg, belly in. If you're good at balancing and you're feeling strong today, keep straightening the front leg, lift the back leg up. Flex the foot. Pull those toes towards the floor. Biggest thing here is belly is in. So keeping that core activated, feeling nice and strong, straightening your front knee as much as you're able to. Pause and breathe. This is your variation of warrior three. There's no judgment. So do what works for you. Make any adjustments that you're able to. One more breath in. 
As you exhale, big step back with the lifted foot. Open up that right foot, come into warrior two. Looking over your left hand. So look down at your front foot. You should be able to see your big toe. So if you can't see your big toe and that knee is buckling in, see if you can pull it so it comes over your ankle. Relax the tops of your shoulders. So you're reaching fingertip to fingertip, but soft tops of the shoulders looking over your left hand. Belly in, don't forget to breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, one more breath in. As you exhale, big step forward, warrior two. I'm sorry, mountain pose. <laughs> Top of your mat. Nice, yogis. Good. Take a nice deep breath in. Reach your arms up. Firm up your glutes. Take a little back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Again, inhale, reaching up. Little back bend. Exhale. This time, ride your breath all the way down. Forward fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, lift up halfway. Flat back. This time you're gonna exhale, plant your hands, step back to tabletop or plank. So plank is that push up hold, tabletop, hands and knees. So put your hands on the floor, step it back. Chair if you need to, good. If you're in plank pose, yep, pausing there, just noticing the activation in your tummy muscles. Good, set your knees down if they're not down already. Take your time, lower all the way to your stomach. So come all the way down to your stomach. Good, turn either cheek to the mat and let your arms go down at your sides. Good, we're gonna do a little bit more back body strengthening here. So laying on your stomach, arms down at your sides, turn either cheek to the mat. Take a nice deep breath in through the belly. Exhale, let it out. Good. As it's available to you, I want you to try lifting your chest, your head, and your arms up. I don't care how high you lift them. You're going to keep your feet down and reach those fingertips back for your feet. So you're lifting up your entire chest and trying to pull your shoulder blades towards your spine. Head is up. Feet are on the floor. Pause and breathe. Do your best not to hold your breath. Good. As you exhale, turn your opposite cheek to the mat. Relax. Cleansing breath. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. One more time. Tops of the feet stay on the floor. Inhale. Lift your head, your chest, and your arms up. Fingertips reach for the floor, locust pose variation. And your eyes are just looking down at your mat. So you don't want to look straight ahead because that's going to kind of crank on your neck. So just look straight down towards the mat, towards the top edge of your mat. Good. And then release everything. Taking your time, which to roll over onto your back. Once you're on your back, step your feet in so the soles of your feet are on the floor. We're going to take our arms so our palms are out and they're just slightly away from our body. So soles of the feet are on the mat, arms are slightly away from your body, palms are up. And we're just going to start to slightly move the knees from side to side. Okay, so not super far, but a couple inches each direction. Just start to windshield wiper your legs. So dropping them to the right and to the left, keeping your shoulder blades on the mat. Good. And then if you'd like, you're gonna let your legs drop to one side pausing here, shoulder blades still on the mat, and then turn and look to the other side. So if your knees are to the left, you're gonna look to the right. And don't force anything, but just pause here. 
So letting the breath come to the side body as well as the spine for a little bit of rotation here. A couple nice deep breaths in and out. So we're slowing things down now. We're kind of preparing for our last relaxation. So this is a good time to check in with yourself, noticing how you're feeling right now, and then also reconnecting with that intention that you set for your practice today. When you're ready, bringing the knees back up to the center, and then just, again, rocking them slightly from side to side, and then allowing them to fall gently to the second side, turning and looking to the opposite side, shoulder blades connected to the mat. Pause and breathe. Inhaling and exhaling deeply, maybe closing your eyes here if that feels good. And then slowly bringing the knees back up to the center. And then if it's available to you, pulling one or both knees in towards the chest. And you can grab at the shins or, or at the back of the thighs and just kind of massage out your low back. So a little bit of gentle rocking from side to side might feel good. Just kind of letting your low back release. And then sending your legs out nice and long. Reach your arms up over your head. Take a full body stretch. So just getting up, getting as tall and as long as you can, reaching fingertips to toes. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, release your arms to your sides, settling in for your final relaxation, Shavasana or corpse pose. So you'll tuck the shoulder blades underneath you so your heart is open. Your palms will be facing up towards the sky. Your feet and ankles will relax and just fall comfortably out towards the long edges of the mat. If you need some extra support for your back, feel free to place a rolled towel or blanket underneath your knees. If you're not comfortable laying on your back, you can roll to either side and curl up there. Breathing deeply allowing your eyes to close or lowering your gaze. Take a moment for gratitude for your body and what it does for you each and every day, no matter what your limitations are. And also gratitude for dedicating this time out of your day to move your body and to take time for self-care. Breathe in deeply through the nose. Release the breath fully from the mouth. Let go of any remaining tension from the top of your head all the way down to your feet. Let the ground support you. Put a pause on any thoughts, on the mind chatter. And just allow yourself to be here present on your mat, letting go, enjoying a few moments of peace and stillness. <laughs> 